The present video is on uh, cloud applications, mainly on uh, voltage regulators. And uh, this video is part B of the earlier video. Uh, in this video, the important uh, applications of Zenodout as a voltage regulator are presented. What are the limitations of these uh, regulators and how they have been overcome? Series and shunt uh, transfer voltage regulators are also discussed. Role of operation amplifier regulators is highlighted. Then uh, some of the available power supply types which are available are indicated. Towards the end, uh, uh, other application of Zenodiode such as uh, meter protection, wave shaping and setting stable uh, Zener point are also touched on. So we will start with the entire application on regulated power supply. Uh, we have already seen that uh, DC voltages uh, of unregulated power supplies, uh, which are of ordinary type, these uh, DC voltages vary with the changes in the load and also due to AC mains variations. And uh, so there is a need of uh, voltage regulators which can take care of these changes. So we define uh, a parameter called a load regulation and that we define as uh, percentage load, load regulation as uh, voltage at no load minus uh, voltage at full load over the full load voltage into 100. So this is uh, the load regulation of a regulator and uh, if the load regulation is smaller it is better and the typical values of load regulations are typically of uh, less than 1%. The other important parameter is the line regulation that means uh, delta VL over delta VS and delta VL is the change in the output voltage and delta V is change in the input voltage that means when the input voltage, that's the mains voltage is changing, then how the output voltage, this DC supply voltage changes. Okay, this is what is to be studied. Now, uh, it is uh, normally represented uh, in terms of millivolts per volts or microvolts per volt. We indicate it in terms of millivolts per volt or microvolts per volt. This is, these are the parameters. This is, it is millivolts per volt or microvolts per volt. Now, uh, before we start about the uh, Zener uh, 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 applications as a voltage regulator, regulator uh, we will see what are the uh, equivalent circuit for a Zener regulator. We observe here that uh, uh, a ideal Zena regulator could be replaced by a uh, battery or standard power supply, a supply. But if the Zena diode is uh, not ideal, if it is a practical uh, Zena diode, then this battery uh, is at uh, this voltage source is uh, in series with a resistance that is said to be a Zena resistance. Now we will see what are the ratings uh, of the Zener diode. The Zener diode ratings uh, are, we can just uh, see here, uh, the maximum ratings of Zener diode is uh, PZM, that is the maximum power dissipation in a Zener and PZM is given by VZ, the Zener voltage into the maximum Zener current and maximum current IZM is the maximum current without uh, exceeding its power rating. That means if this current flows at the Zener voltage, it will not exceed the power rating. 
when Rz is the zener resistance. So uh, these are the zener parameters. Some of the uh, uh, maximum uh, parameters. Now uh, we'll see about these uh, zener uh, regulators. Uh, first we study the zener shunt diode regulator. Zener here why it is says to be shunt diode because uh, uh, the zener is connected here in shunt with the load. This RL is the load and zener is connected in shunt with the load that's why we call it a zener diode. In shunt that's why it's said to be a zener diode shunt regulator. Here this RS is the series resistance and this also said to be the current limiting resistance. So it limits the current into the circuit, also the current into the zener diode. So this is said to be a series limiting resistor. And uh, if we try to find out the current into this series limiting resistor, this is 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 VS minus VZ. VS minus VZ would be at this end over R over RS is the current IS. <coughs> now IL, current IL could be written in VL over RL is the current through the load and the current IS, this current IS is sum of the zener current plus the load current. Now best way to analyze the zener circuits is first you have to calculate the value for IS. The series uh, Zener current and then second you should find out the load voltage VL. What is the load voltage VL? In this case load voltage is VZ. Now the third is find the IL, the value for load current that you can find load current as VL over RL and fourth is find the value for IZ that is the uh, Zener current which is IS minus IL. So these are the governing equations by which you can um, solve the problems on uh, uh, Zener diodes. Now uh, we will see that uh, uh, voltage regulation, uh, how the Zener diode, uh, the shunt regulator helps us to uh, control the uh, load voltage and load currents in the two conditions like when the first is when the uh, input voltage is varying and the second is the load resistance is varying. So we can see here in very brief suppose uh, Vs the source resistance source voltage is increased if Vs increases the Is will also increase and the, with the increase in Is the current IZ, the Zena current would also increase. So because the more current is now flowing into Zena, so the IL will remain constant. The other part is when um, IS is increased, VRS drop would also increase and because of this VRS drop, the VL would remain constant. Okay, now if VS is decreasing, IS will decrease. It will decrease the Zena current the load current will be constant and this will again uh, reduce the voltage drop so again the VL would be constant. Uh, this is the logical statement of uh, this uh, particular case and uh, the second case if the RL, the load resistance is varying, if the load resistance is varying then uh, see how it is, uh, uh, source is fixed then uh, how it is uh, regulating say RL has reduced, the load resistance is reduced, that means the IL, the load current has increased and if the IL is increased, IS, IZ, the Zena current has to reduce and if the Zena current reduce, then the uh, IS and VRS is constant, IS and VRS is constant. Now again if RL, the value of RL is increasing, IL will reduce and IZ will increase and again keys keep it will keep IS and VRS as constants. So anyway these are the equations uh, by a simple uh, Zener uh, 
uh, regulators and how they have been used. Now, uh, these uh, ordinary uh, Zena regulators have limitations like maximum load current is limited to IZ max minus IZ min and there is a good amount of power wasted in Zena diode and the series resistance and the reduction factor and the output resistance not very low here. So, to overcome these problems, the transistorized voltage regulators are in common use and there are two types of regulator, one is the series type and other is of shunt type. The series type regulator here is the transistor is put in series with the load and here the transistor is put in the shunt with the load and uh, so we will uh, try to see for both these circuits how these circuits uh, improve uh, uh, the over the uh, Zener uh, diode regulators. Here this transfer is in series with the load and uh, basically transfer is acting as a emitter follower. So we will see here suppose the load resistance has reduced that means uh, there is a there is load resistance has reduced that means there is a more of the load current load current is more uh, more of uh, load current that means the VL will be less and if VL is less VL is less from this equation you can see VL is less then VB would be more and VB is more that means common, common collective emitter resistance of this transfer will be low and with this the IS value the current here the IS current would increase IS for current put so increase of IS will take care of the load variations so in similarly here uh, again if the VS uh, has increased the VL will also increase and with increase of VL if the VL is increasing VB will here increase and this will increase IB the base current it will increase IC the collector current collector current will increase the IS value and IS value would increase the VRS and if VRS has increased the VL will go down ok so these uh, both these uh, equations here or both these circuits here give that how this uh, voltage uh, regulation uh, has been improved with the transistor uh, regulator circuits. Now um, we will see uh, very briefly I will talk about this uh, op amp voltage regulators are also very common and these op amp voltage is a very high open loop gain uh, uh, because uh, op amps with very high open loop gain in their ideal so they find as an use an error amplifier and op amp voltage followers are very common with this purpose regulators are most common of voltage follower type uh, you must be heard the name of uh, switch mode power supply SMPS yes SMPS supplies are very commonly used uh, these days and uh, they use switching regulators and the advantages are greater efficiency small size and light weight then another uh, power supply is uh, under uninterrupted power supply that's a uh, UPS and basically it's a battery backup it's an online type or offline type so it's, uh, uh, you can see the details then uh, we can see some of the important applications of the Zener applications here uh, we observe here this uh, Zener two designers have been put here uh, because uh, if there is uh, overload on this meter on either side one of the Zener would conduct and it will current will pass through the zener instead of instead of into the meter now wave shaping circuit some of the very important wave shaping circuit uh, is a dual diode uh, clipper circuit see sine wave is applied you can see it can give almost a square wave here like uh, with uh, uh, zener voltage of vz and uh, vz if both are having the same zener voltage a positive peak and this a negative peak so this is one of the very important application. One of the other important application is uh, for stable breakdown. 
type of uh, uh, zinners. Here we observe that uh, zinners uh, uh, around four volts have a temperature coefficient of a particular type. That means that they have a negative temperature coefficient, while the zener about six volts have a positive temperature coefficient. So, if we can use a zener diode between four and six volts, and uh, for a certain amount of uh, current, we can always uh, get a very stable point, uh, the breakdown point, because uh, the two temperature coefficients are of opposite kind, and they'll cancel out and the uh, Zener breakdown point will not vary much with the temperature. So this is all about uh, the circuits, uh, uh, but uh, I would suggest you that uh, you go through uh, in more details about uh, the circuits involved uh, with Zener diodes, and you would notice uh, that a uh, very good number of problems have appeared in gate. Uh, on uh, uh, Zener diodes, especially in power supplies. So, you should be very thorough about these uh, circuits and the corresponding power supply. Uh, I have made some efforts to try to cover some of the points uh, which I feel important, but still uh, you have to do much more than what has been uh, maybe very briefly done here. Thank you.